Hey, it's me, Jason Brock, and today I'm going to tell you about five foods that are Japanese foods, but they're not really Japanese. Hey everyone, welcome to the Jason Brock channel, and I'm Jason Brock. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like and comment and share. And uh, today I'm going to tell you about five Japanese foods that you think are Japanese, but really they came from somewhere else. Of course, Japanese people have adopted them and adapted them, but their origins are not Japanese. Let's start with number one. Okay, the first one is tempura. Tempura is how we say it in America, but it's actually pronounced in Japan, tempura. So with an N, T-E-N-P-U-R-A. You usually see it on menus, T-E-M-P-U-R-A. So that's just a little adaptation you see in America at Japanese restaurants. But here in Japan, tempura is very popular. You know, you eat it, it's like fried shrimp, fried vegetables, fried this and that, almost anything. And you dip it in a sauce and ugh, delicious. Um, but this food actually didn't start in Japan. It was originated in Portugal because Portuguese traders used to come to Japan and they brought along the idea of frying in bread, uh, flour and egg batter. And so before that, uh, Japanese people did fry things, but not with that kind of batter. So it turns out that tempura is not actually from Japan, but of course now it's a very Japanese thing. Okay, let's go to number two. Okay, the second food that people think of as very Japanese, this one very, very, very Japanese, you can go get it anywhere, is ramen. Ramen! I know, it seems so Japanese, right? But actually that came over from China a long time ago. I think it maybe as early as the 1600s, I was looking on Wikipedia. Um, but yeah, Japanese people adopted the, the wheat noodle cuisine from China, and of course now Japan has developed it over many hundreds of years into all different kinds of ramen, and it's totally Japanese now, but that's not where it started. Let's go to number three. Number three is omurice. You may never have heard of this one, but it's popular in Japan, omurice. It's a mix of the two words omelette and rice. And so what omurice is, is like a an omelet with rice like fried rice inside and sometimes topped with ketchup and you can buy it anywhere here and uh, apparently kids love it especially um anyway omurice didn't originate in japan however omurice's origin i can't seem to find but omurice is considered a fusion of western perhaps french or american omelet with the uh, eastern rice and you put that together and you get omurice. Let's go to number four. Okay, the number four food that is considered Japanese in Japan, it may sound similar to a food you know very well if you're in America or anywhere else in the world. You know hamburgers, right? We all know hamburgers. <clears throat> right. Okay, well, in Japan there are hamburgers, like you might think with the bread and the meat, but also there's hambagu. And hambagu is a, a little bit different. It, there's no bread. It's just the hamburger patty and they put it on a plate and then they put a sauce like a gravy on it or something and then you just eat it like that. It's called hambagu. And obviously this is from the West, but what my research showed is that it originated from Germany. When Germans came over and they brought that style of food with them, it became popular in Japan and Japanese people adopted it to their own style. So that is hambagu. Let's go to number five. Number five is a potato dish and it's a fried potato dish and it's also very popular here. I see it in the supermarkets, in the restaurants. It's very popular. It's called koroke and koroke is like I don't know, not, not like this. It's more like a smashed, like a patty of fried potato. And it's really delicious. Um, so it came from France, it turns out. Um, French people have a very similar word, and I'm sorry if I mispronounce it, croquette? Cro 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 I can't say French, I don't do French. Okay, but in, I would say croquette, croquette. 
So th they took the croquette, the Japanese people took the croquette from the French cooking and turned it into kuroke. I'm sorry, koroke. So uh, that is a fried potato dish and it's really good. So um, anyway, that's number five. These have been the five Japanese foods that aren't actually Japanese, but you know, honestly they are. They're just adapted from other cultures and turned into Japanese food, sort of like a fusion. And so do try them if you can. Now, all of the foods that I'm talking about, or almost all of them, could be called a Japanese word called yoshoku. Yoshoku is a, a Western food that has been merged with Japanese style. So Japanese people took a, a Western food or maybe even somewhere else and merged it and, and created an, a fusion food that they call Yoshoku. And this term, I believe, began in the Meiji era. You can look it up, but it, I looked up the word and it seems that during the Meiji restoration, the Meiji era, um, Japan wanted to westernize Japan and so they actually wanted to bring in some non-Japanese foods and of course much more than food culture and systems but one of the things was the food and so they brought that into their culture the government even encouraged it and uh, that's my understanding of Yoshuku and uh, don't forget to subscribe like comment and share if you like this video Thank you very much.